Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Already, when we left off, we had been mainly talking to our uh, little motley band of uh, adventurers here to uh, learn a bit more about them and what makes them tick. So, uh, there was that. Uh, we also have these guys over here. Not entirely sure why they're here. But there's a marker over Sandal, so let's talk to Sandal. There we go. Hello. The boy's Hello. a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Yeah, it exists. It absolutely exists. Uh, What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. Yeah, of course. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Well, I mean... Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, I'm a little concerned that you're talking about him as if he isn't there. But, I mean... Okay. Cool. Uh, that's some good shit there, Sandal. I like that. Okay, let's let's, let's talk again later. We'll uh, have to look into that later for sure. Oh, can't really go that way. Okay, I was going to try and explore the area a little bit. Doesn't seem like there's a lot to explore. Okay. Well, let's head out. Gather the party and venture forth. Alright, so. I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to do the uh, tanky thing with Sten that I feel <laughs> I want to do. So, uh, that sucks, but what can you do? Uh, we'll bring Alistair. Yes. Because he's probably going to be able to do it far better than I think uh, Sten would be able to. At least for now. Uh, we'll bring Morgan Indeed. and Leliana. Indeed. This, this should work. This should work. Now, where will we be going? Obviously not to Denerim. That's certain death at this point. Uh... Brazilian outskirts, maybe not. Flemeth's hut. Eh, there's no real need. A Lake Callan had docks. I don't think we need to do that yet. Sulcher's Pass is uh, colored orange. Don't know why that is. Hmm. That's an idea. Redcliffe Village is a little closer. Huh. Well, I mean, we do need to go to Redcliffe Village. We might as well get it done out of, and done and out of the way now. Give it a shot. Oh, joy. Is this an ambush? Oh, joy. Okay. Alright, you know what? It's probably a better idea to try and focus on the additionals. Oh, boy. I need healing. Oh, boy. It'd be so much easier if I had... A uh, person who knew healing, but no, no. Of course, I don't get that. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I watched that happen and couldn't even speak on it until it happened. Uh, geez. Death root. Emissary. Hey. Aid the uh, healing a freebie. Right ahead. 
dead. Okay. Disarm failed. Well, if that's the case, what then now? I'll just let her do it. Cool. I get experience for this. Oh, that's cool. In that case, I'll just do this the whole damn time. Um, trying to get the one that's closest to me. Because the game doesn't want to focus on it for some reason. Okay. Well, you know what? It's done. Alright. It doesn't want to focus on that one for whatever reason. That's weird, but okay. All right. And yeah, that's just not going to get focused on. All right. Whatever. I don't know why it has an X here. I guess that's where I started from? Probably. And that's how we get out. Alright, well, fair enough. Sally forth! Wait, I did get everything here, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, pretty simple arena. Alright. Well, we did it. I was expecting that ambush to uh, go badly. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Uh-huh. Not gonna like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Okay. I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because... Well... Because my father was King Marek. Ah! Kaelin, my half brother, I suppose. Ah, 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 ah. So you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Ha! Yes, I guess it does it, that. I should use that line more often. Yeah! I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone oh. who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you kind of still should have told me. You're right, I should have brought me nothing but problems, to be honest. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. I do appreciate it. Uh, you're the heir to the throne, then? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. Okay. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Then what if that doesn't work out? If he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. Okay. So there you have it. Now, can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Oh, that line's a little... a little hard. As you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> a little. Oh, I just know it. Yeah, just a little. Just a little. I'm, go I'm, I'm, I'm not going to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. That's that's some new shit. That Some new lore that I am going to use for a while. Oh. I can't go in here. Okay. I can get that. Anything else worthwhile over here? Nope, that's the way out. Okay. This person. With a bow. I thought I saw travelers um, coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. High name twin-ish. 
I ish name twin. Uh, I'm on important business. I need to see Arl Eamon. Oh. Then you, you you don't know. Has nobody out there heard? I've heard Arl Eamon is sick. If that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. Oh. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until oh. dawn. Everyone's been fighting. From the castle. And dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. Thank you, no Morgan. No army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Alrighty. As good a plan as any. And here we are. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. Okay. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still Good. alive, yes. Though not for long, if Ten Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Mm-hmm. So you don't believe Loghain's lie? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. Awesome. So These people have a brain. Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. You may have known my father, Taren Kuzland. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No mm -hmm. guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. Zombies. They hit again Great. the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. Gotcha. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. I mean... It's a good idea to help out. I will help. Oh, pointless to help these villagers fight Morgan, fuck off. Battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This, this means is helping us in the long run. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Okay. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You okay. may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Sounds good to me. Cleaning my glasses. Give me a second. Uh... Need to grab a uh, one of my many handy napkins for such a thing. Do not mind the rustling; it is entirely cleaning my glasses. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Oh, now I can see so much better now. Yay. Uh, I want to discuss the situation with you. Of course. Uh, you have some of the knights here? I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Their search for the urn of sacred ashes. Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. That I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Yeah. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Will do. Uh, what happens after this battle is over? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. That's, uh... That's a good thing to hope for. And uh, I'll definitely help where I can. Uh, what exactly are these things that are attacking the village? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead? Spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. That's actually wonderful, uh, wonderful input there, Morgan. Considering it's you, uh, that's surprising, but uh, thank you. Anyway, why are you in the Chantry with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. Hmm. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Fair enough. Uh, won't that look cowardly? Eh, not really. Uh, it's an understandable, uh, understandable fallback. Uh, do you need more men in here with you? We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Fair enough. I should get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Uh, of course, Morgan disapproves. I'm helping people. All right. Mother. Pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. They're gone. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, who sacrificed the holy flame. When will they be back? May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. Your parents would want that. We need you here to protect the rest of us. Yes? I guess I can do that. There's a good lad. In the morning, we'll look for your parents. In the morning. I fear most for the children. They are so frightened. It breaks my heart. Makes sense. Yeah. So why, why they went with that particular voice actor of a kid to do that, it's the most... It's the most cliché voice they could have used, honestly. And that's probably what they intended. <laughs> it's, it's just very fucking joke worthy to me. Mother Hannah, let's talk to you. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like something we needed to do. So, might as well. Uh, I cannot stand by while monsters attack the helpless. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a man of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. I'm glad Allow to hear me it. to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I would like your blessing. Of course, child. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the holy flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. Oh, I expected Morgan to not like that. I, 
If anything, I was expecting the other two to like that more than I was expecting her to not like it. But, you know, either way. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. I want to go home. Where's Father? Why can't we go home? I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Can you do that? I... I guess so. Irenia? Okay. Good day. It's a named person. I guess I can't talk with her yet. Jetta. You can talk with her. Woman, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? I My was. husband and son went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Your husband and son are both dead. I... I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. Certainly. Make his blessings upon you. I forgot that there was a quest specifically about that. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return and we sit here and wait for them. We have no choice. We must pray and hope for the Maker's compassion. I just hope everything will be all right. So many have already died. Yep. Yeah. Understandable. Caitlin. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are, are you all right? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How Jeez. terrible. You poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Why would he run off, do you know? He said something about saving Mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. Uh, if he see. has foolishly run off, then he is no doubt dead. Morgan, fuck off. Fact. Nice. Maybe you want to kick her in the head while you're at it. Shall we comfort her with lies? If she is to face death, better she face it honestly. I what hope the hell is to wrong with you? Oh, that would be awful. Jesus, Harold Christ. Have you tried looking for him? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village, too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. What would you... Whoa. Oh. Mm. That's a little fucked up. I'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Absolutely will do. Alright. Out we go to find out what is needed to defend them against this apparently very Resident Evil 4-esque situation of evil in the castle. It's definitely what it sounds like. What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh. More fish. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's, f I it's wish good, would the it's good stuff. He's our only hope now. I see. Yeah, I, I guess that would probably be a good idea. Probably uh, help you. Uh, well, I mean, depending on uh, how quickly you're able to do it, it could get you more weapons that way. Wooden crate. Lesser injury kit. Good stuff. I have a feeling we'll end up running into more and more of that as time goes on. No swimming. Okay. Lake Kalenhad. Or Kalenhad? I don't know. Deep mushroom. I didn't realize I was holding onto the button. That's my bad. I just wanted to saw a thing over there. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Oh! 
telekinetic weapons. That's a thing. Um. What do you wish of me? I wasn't wanting to talk to you. That was my bad. Note. A tattered shopping list. Oh, that would be a little fuck to me to be stealing stuff in here. There is lamp oil in these barrels. Hmm. If you must. Can't do that. Oh, she can't even open that. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, well, I gave it a shot. And maybe if we get a level up later, I'll fix that. Huh. Dwin's home. Looks as if it's been recently repaired. Hello? No one answers the call. No response. Break open the lock. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. I don't mean any harm. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. What are you doing shut up in here? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. And you're not going to help at all? You're going to die in here just as easily as you would out there. Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Um, I guess I could try that. <laughs> Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Whoa. You go and I don't cut your head off. How about that? I've had enough of you strutting around like you own the place. Come on, boys. This ends now. I was hoping that would work. Okay, well. Ow. Okay, well. Maybe if I, uh... Get him pretty close. Well, quest is updated. <laughs> uh, is it updated for the worst? Um. <laughs> I killed Dwin. Militia is going to have to do without his help. Uh. <laughs> Oops. Happy, happy. <laughs> Dwin sword. Well, at least it's a pretty strong sword. I don't think it's better than my current one, though. Uh, oops. Is there a way I could have done that? <laughs> that would have been better and less murdery. I guess I could find out. I mean, I'll give it a shot later. I'll, I'll look into it and see if there's a better way to do it, but uh, it didn't seem like he was giving me a lot of an option there. Murdoch. No sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. That was a bit of a lie. He, uh, you sure you didn't hear that we killed the king? Could be that I did. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, no, we I want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a path I should go. 
I hope you're right. I really do. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. A uh, little, yeah. How's morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. Understandable. It would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. Mm. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. Fair enough. Uh, I have some questions. Oh, ask away. Yeah, just, uh, where can I get supplies? Hmm, if you want weapons and such, you'd go to the blacksmith, but there isn't much left there. Is there nowhere to actually buy or sell things? Uh, commerce isn't exactly our biggest concern right now. I but understand that, you might want that, to speak but... to Lloyd at the tavern. I wouldn't trust him, though. Uh, discuss something else. Right. Uh, what can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Why does he refuse to talk? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't oh. heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Yeesh. Nobody else can do the repairs? Not by nightfall, and not well enough that I'd be happy to test it in combat. If there were others, don't you think I'd ask them? Fair point. Is there anything else? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Mm, he's dead. That fool. I told him not to lock himself in there. I told him we wouldn't be able to make sure he was safe, but would he listen? Thank you for telling me. Another senseless death to add to the list, I suppose. Shame. Yeah, we don't necessarily have to mention it was us. Carry on, then. The militia will do what it can, but don't get your hopes up. Understandable. Huh. <laughs> huh. 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 I can't so help feeling like I did something. And him had going. Doesn't that violate your vows? What? What kind of question is that to just blurt out? What do we have going? Yes, I'm that blind. I so totally did not see you ogling each other before. He was not ogling me, was he? Was he really ogling me? Uh, now that you say uh, that, I'm not sure. Maybe he wasn't ogling you. Uh, I could always ask him. You can't do that. Could you? You couldn't do that. I could, but I won't. Next thing you'll have me pulling his hair and passing him love letters. I just mind your own business. How inappropriate. <laughs> oh my god, they're like children. Oh, I love it. Okay, I gotta end the episode here for right now. Um, wow. That was a thing. Okay, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to... Oh, wait, oh, that's a new thing so I always forget. It's, it's, I always forget to throw it in there. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for supporting the uh, channel and my <laughs> my continued inability to talk uh, and say things correctly. Thank you, I do appreciate it, man. And uh, I will see you all in the next episode. The one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games and running into a very zombie situation now, uh, trying to defend the villagers from 
zombies that have seemingly taken over the castle, and now it's looking very bad for everyone involved. So, of course, we kind of have to help at this point. Otherwise, we're just leaving them to certain death for you.